The Sotheby's Fine Art Division was rooted in the recognition that collecting and ways of thinking about art history are changing. And so we had this desire to introduce works by a number of artists from other cultures that have not been in evening sales before or have rarely been so. We've always thought of abstraction as being the invention of a universal language. But we didn't have a universal view of it. In the sale, we have some examples of some works that lead to the road of pure abstraction. And a great drawing by Bala, which is a very significant example of the futuristic work that he did. Pure abstraction is represented here in this wonderful painting by Kazimir Malevich, which was made in 1915, where what you see is reduced to a pure geometric composition. We have this extraordinary work by Miro, which was made in the 1970s. It was a study for a major tile mural that was created on the facade of a building. It made the entire wall. To me, it's very much an ultimate expression of Miro and his artistic energy. So in the post-war period, the language of abstraction gets further and further reduced. In the contemporary sale, we can begin this discussion looking at small-scale, pinstripe painting by Frank Stella. These paintings that Stella made in 1959 are seen as cornerstone works. On the spectrum of works that are lesser known but equally significant in the post-war period is this master work by Takeo Yamaguchi, who is one of the most significant artists working in Japan in the post-war period. We have an extraordinary work by Sergio Camargo dealing with an all-over composition, but rather than using brush, he's using wooden blocks that he has cut at angles that create a gestural quality. We have a fantastic work by Mira Schendel called The Draginias, in which she takes the, the rice paper from which she made her works, and she ties them up into knots and creates these larger compositions that become accumulations as an object while given the nature of its material, also having an ethereal quality. It's a body of work of which there are probably fewer than 10 examples, and this happens to be one of the most extraordinary of that grouping. We're fortunate that we happen to have this Twombly work from the early 80s, which I think is the ultimate expression of the paintings or the drawings on paper that he was making in this period of the late 70s and early 80s. In this sale, we're hoping to be introducing some real high points, including artists that, even though they have not yet appeared in an evening sale, have certainly been collected by some of the most significant collections of our time.